hey what is up guys welcome back to my channel welcome back to yet another fcpx tips and tricks let's get started with the new tutorial today today we're going to learn something about the appearing effect it could be a products or it could be yourself it could be anything for that matter and you can just have fun with it so you might have seen uh, so many movies where the magic happens when you just do this you get a product in front of you or something in front of you and it's fun to watch it's it's all about the storytelling so all this small small stuff we're going to learn from basic so that's what i'm doing at the moment i'm not jumping straight away to advanced level well we'll learn that in this episode so let's get started and jump into the final cut pro right away all right so let's go ahead and recreate the appearing effect here and uh, to do that I've created a new project and I've added my footage onto the timeline and uh, I suggest you guys to go and use tripod to shoot the sequence. I've also trimmed down the sequence so that it would be very helpful to speed up this tutorial. So now we have the sequence and this is where our product is coming in the frame and uh, let's quickly check how it exactly looks okay so that's when the product is coming up so now let's go ahead and add some effects to it and to do that let's go ahead and bring up some uh, smoke effect so i'll leave this uh, downloadable link in the description box below so you can make use of it so let me see how it looks yeah it looks good so but little bit of fine tuning is required let's go ahead and do that now let's go ahead and click on this smoke effect and go to the video inspector blend mode and go ahead and change it to screen now we see that this effect is appearing in a different position altogether now we got to change the position of it and it has to be on top of the gimbal so let me just drag the smoke near to this and let me try to rotate it scale it and uh, maybe yeah that looks good okay just fiddle around and make sure that it's on top of your product and this looks good right now so let's go and see how it looks okay all right so it looks good now so let's go and uh, speed up this particular uh, footage so to do that so go to retrimming options and uh, fast this to 8x so now let's go ahead and add some music let's add some background music to it and uh, to do that i have got the some whoosh effects some hard hit effects so i'll leave the downloadable link in the description box below for this sound effects as well so that you can make use of it so let me add the whoosh effect and this effect as well so just bring up the sound effects you can see the wavelength here so with that you can see that it is going to start from here and also we can see for the whoosh effect it's starting up from this level so just play it accordingly and let's try to play it that looks good all right so now let's go and uh, add some background music to it so let me add this up just gonna make some continuous arrangement of sound all right so why i did this because i wanted the sound to end at the end of my video so the wavelength you can see here it's going down so that's what i want at the end of the video make sure you know you play around with your sound effects because since the wavelength matches this so i have matched it up accordingly so let's go and play this and see how it looks All 
all right guys i hope you enjoyed this particular video and i guess it was not just an appearing effect what we learned today it was also about how to create sound effects how to fiddle around with that how to make the story appealing so that the viewer would enjoy each and every moment out of it so yeah that's it about it i hope you have subscribed to my channel already and if you're not don't worry go ahead and hit that button just that button and hit the bell icon so that you can get a notification when i create a new video and upload it thank you very much for watching and talk to you guys on the next one peace